sauntering off to the lodge for a little medical treatment perhaps before going to assembly in the school hall. John Gray, the headmaster at the time, was the son of a previous headmaster, Donald Gray, and himself an old scholar of the school. Then, to morning classes, where Ron Pickering, Peter Warne, Rodney Wills, David Champion and Duncan Brereton were all in action. At last, we are seeing something of lessons taking place in a formal setting. Playground cricket, a long Bootham tradition where the turn to bat is taken in alphabetical order of surname, survives to the present day. Although then, as now, if you hit a ball too hard, perhaps you might suffer the consequences with a punishment of more columns. Lessons resume under the care of those well-remembered staff. Lunch comes eventually. And then, after more food, our heroes are seen taking city leave with a walk into town. The hair is longer, no caps nowadays, but the boys themselves are much the same as they were generations before. Sport continues to be a valued and an important part of school life. At the time this film was made, the Bootham swimming team was enjoying great success. Towels were always checked to make sure that each boy had the right one as they went into the swimming pool. Costumes are now somewhat skimpier than in the 1930s and the efforts to repeat the aqua gymnastics of 1936 are of a rather abbreviated style. The high diving board has given way to lower starting blocks. Long tables with meals served up by masters had not yet been replaced with a cafeteria service. And after tea, prep had to be done. In the winter, playground cricket was replaced by football. Then, final ablutions before lights out at the end of another Bootham day. From silent film, we moved to the era of sound recording, and we could listen to a few words from John Gray. Two of our Bootham pupils, Liam Gosling and Richard Spark, said that they would might like to make a videotape recording of life at Bootham in 1985. 
I imagine that this recording will be used at meetings of old scholars in this country and abroad, and I look forward to hearing the comments from old scholars on the school as it now is. Girls had joined Bootham in 1983, and they start to make their first appearances in this early video footage taken in the mid-1980s. A brief glimpse here of Peter Haywood, head of English, during that period. Joint productions with the Mount were an annual event, including this fiery production of Orpheus in the Underworld. John Hasty was the director of music during the 70s and 80s, and he started the Guildhall Orchestra, in which a good number of pupils, parents, and staff were involved. The end of term, brings the playground full with cars of parents collecting their children. Trunks, canoes, bicycles, and all sorts of paraphernalia are loaded up and ready for the off. Rucksacks on the van suggests the start of the usual natural history summer expedition. And now to the end of the century with headmaster Ian Small admiring the fine new sports hall. This was built in 1998 and provides a wonderful facility for sport ranging from badminton and dance to basketball and cricket nets. While traditional sports like netball produce a creditable number of county players, Ian Small, in the true tradition of Bootham Heads, has taken a keen interest in the life of the pupils at the school and has himself produced many plays and joint productions. As in the past, art and craft continue to be an important part, not only of the curriculum, but of leisure activities as well. And nowadays, of course, the computer plays a big part in all aspects of education. But low-tech experiments in basic physics continue just as they have in the past. In this case, timing the fall of sycamore seeds from the JB Library down to the ground. Like other Quaker schools, Bootham's founding principles sought to teach its pupils through the development of character by example and persuasion. Though the years have brought many, many changes, the essential spirit of Bootham as a Quaker school remains the same. <laughs>